Hi and welcome back to my channel, Indubitably Sinise. Today I come to you with a collection video of the drawstrings that I have. I have eight of them thus far. I keep thinking it's going to be it, but who knows, you know, I'm not going to just continue to limit myself um, with what I have. And so, yeah, this is the collection and we're just going to take our time and look at all of them. So right here you have the four pebble grain or the newest pebble grain leather um, drawstrings and clementine brown tomorrow spearmint and mustard now i know the lighting is bad and so i'm going to um, divide these up um, so you can look at them a little bit better in, in the light but i think these are just beautiful colors i love this brown tomorrow um, i don't have a lot of brown bags in my collection and so I just thought this was just such an awesomely beautiful color in this pebble grain. This clementine is just, I love orange. Um, of course, the spearmint was my first and then I acquired the mustard as well. So here we are with the mustard. Oh my goodness. That yellow is just with that, that trim of the bag is just to die for in my opinion. I think it's just so um scrumptious really um this yellow is great for the spring and the fall you can pair that up with so many different items and so i just really love this this bag next you have the clementine bag um orange which is really my favorite color uh, i love the vibrantness of that color and then you have the brown tomorrow uh, this bag is not really stuffed well it didn't come stuffed well so i gotta work on it and of course i haven't carried her just yet but i just love it it's just a beautiful 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 color for the fall uh here you will see just a little bit closer of the pebble grain and the db on the side and just try to see um, that brown come up or pop out a little bit better in this light i really need to take her outside then you have my other ultimate favorite which is the spearmint which was the first pebble grain that i purchased and i just really truly fell in love with this drawstring i mean the drawstring is very roomy and you see the duck, the leather duck sign previous uh drawstrings don't have that and and some of the newer ones don't have that so we're going to continue with this collection looking at my floratine um the logo lock on there um i haven't had any issues with my logo lock but i haven't carried this bag this is the hattie actually and i haven't carried this bag very much i think twice thus far um the logo lock i know there were some complaints about it i haven't had any issues i hope i don't have any issues with the uh lock in itself but this is in the color navy navy is such a pretty color i might as well just say it is my favorite um i actually love all colors i truly do but that's a close-up of the duck on that logo lock so you have the all gold and then you just have the um, Dooney and Burke name with the white background on that lock the logo lock so this is really really nice carry is roomy it's taller than the other um, pebble grain this is one of my newest um, acquisitions <laughs> this is the hot pink ostrich and i'm zooming in on that duck i like that duck especially with the uh, the bill of the duck being orange uh, so i love that that logo uh, the price this was a, a dillard exclusive uh, it is 172 172.80 i did get this about a month ago but it, it claims to be an exclusive for Dillard's. Now you will go and see on Dooney and Burke's website the ostrich drawstring, but I have not seen it in the hot pink, and that's why I wanted it. I have a large um, framed coin purse to go with this, and so I was just like, yeah, I had to have it. <laughs> I definitely had to have it. So I am liking this. 
Then, of course, this beautiful Kindle. I think this is one of the best purchases I made. I enjoy carrying this drawstring. I'm not a big fan of the tassels, but I enjoy that. And this is the other, my last one, the Depenta. Um, just this artistry, this art bag. I haven't carried her just yet. I'm very strategic as to when I will. Uh, but I just want to zoom in a little bit more on that Dooney and Burke plate, um, name plate, and how you see the background. And just look at the the art, the the painting, the strokes, the the splatter. I really, really love just how this goes. Um, and just flows i really would like to just sit and just paint just like this i am going to try to mimic this in different colors uh, but you just see just from the bottom of the splatter and then i am appreciative of the fact that it doesn't have feet because i'm able to really truly look at this i see different pictures abstract pictures on here um i see a bird i see um, I early I thought I saw a dude on here, <laughs> um, but I just like staring at this bag and looking at those um, brush strokes and just try to figure out what is this. And so overall, this is my collection. Of course, I paired up with the Depenta um, because it's fall soon. Just how it would look, um, those colors, and then of course these are the Florentine that I have. The two Florentines that I do have. Um, the navy and the, the penta and the natural and I like to think of these as the extra kids in the bunch um, the ostrich and the Greta just a different um, feel that they bring to the collection uh, and next up is once more the pebble grain the pebble grain click they are just beautiful I just love these colors and I've been trying to figure out if I want another but I just really haven't been drawn to anything else Thank you all. Thank you all. Come back. Don't forget.